Hola amigos! Welcome to your very first Spanish class. After this lesson, you will be able to introduce yourself to others and to understand when they do the same. What happens when you first meet a person? You want to know more information about them, you want to know their name, uh, where they are from, you want to know what they like. So today I will teach you how to ask and answer such questions and we are going to learn our very first verbs. Remember that in Spanish we need to change the verb depending on the person you are talking about. Entonces, vamos a empezar. Usually, the first question we ask someone is their name. So, for this question we will use the verb llamarse, which literally means to be called. In Spanish we do this conjugation. Yo me llamo, tú te llamas, él, ella, usted se llama, nosotros nos llamamos, y ellos y ustedes se llaman. So, the question will be, ¿Cómo te llamas? And the answer, me llamo Jasmine. Question number two, where are you from? In Spanish, we would say, ¿De dónde eres? In order to answer this question, we need the verb ser, which means to be. So, we say, yo soy, tú eres, él, ella, usted es, nosotros somos, ellos y ustedes son. The answer for this question would be, soy de México. Be careful with prepositions. Not always, but in most of the cases, the same question will tell you what preposition you should use for the answer. So in this case, we say, de donde eres. So the answer would be, de México. Soy de México. Question number three. Where do you live? Donde vives? In order to answer this one, we need the verb vivir, which means to live. Yo vivo, tú vives, él, ella, usted vive, nosotros vivimos, ellos, ustedes viven. ¿Dónde vives? Yo vivo en México o yo vivo en Querétaro, which is the name of my city. This question has two possible options. You may say, ¿Dónde vives? Or you can say, ¿En dónde vives? Both are correct, and if you use ¿En dónde vives? You may tell that in the answer you would need the preposition ¿En? ¿En Querétaro? Question number four. How old are you? Be very careful with this one, because in English you use the verb to be. How old are you? Whereas in Spanish, we literally ask, how many years do you have? So in Spanish, we use the verb tener, to have years, not to be old. So our question would be, ¿Cuántos años tienes? The verb tener means to have, and we do this conjugation. Yo tengo Tú tienes, él, ella, usted tiene, nosotros tenemos, ellos, ustedes tienen. And the answer would be, yo tengo 33 años. Question number five. When is your birthday? In Spanish we would say, ¿cuándo es tu cumpleaños? For this question we will need the verb ser, again, which means to be, you already know that we say Yo soy, tú eres, él, ella, usted es, nosotros somos, ellos, ustedes son. But careful, in this question, the subject is not I, 
the subject for this question and for this answer would be tu cumpleaños. So we say, mi cumpleaños es el 12 de mayo. Question number six. What do you do for a living? What's your occupation? There are many different ways to ask this, both in English and Spanish. So I will give you one option today. In Spanish, in Mexico, a very common question you ask is ¿A qué te dedicas? Which literally means what are you dedicated to? Yo me dedico, tú te dedicas, él, ella, usted se dedica, nosotros nos dedicamos, ellos, ustedes se dedican. So, the answer for this question would be, yo me dedico a enseñar español. Look at this structure carefully. Yo me dedico plus the preposition a plus an action or a verb. Yo me dedico a enseñar, which is my verb, Español, which is my complement. There are many ways to answer this question depending on the occupation you have. So another way to answer in my case would be Yo soy maestra de español o Yo soy profesora de español. In this case, I'm using the verb ser, to be. Now, our last question for today. What do you like to do? In Spanish, we would say ¿Qué te gusta hacer? Let's use the verb hacer in here. Hacer means both to do and to make. And we do this conjugation. Yo hago, tú haces, él, ella, usted hace, nosotros hacemos, ellos, ustedes hacen. And we also need the verb gustar. Gustar has a very particular structure in Spanish that I will teach you later. But by now, let's use this conjugation. Me gusta, te gusta, le gusta, nos gusta, les gusta. We'll use this verb gustar plus an action to give the answer. So we say, for example, me gusta leer y me gusta viajar. So I like to read and I like to travel. Now, let's use all the things we learned today in order to introduce ourselves. Hola, me llamo Jazz, soy de México, vivo en Querétaro, tengo 33 años. Mi cumpleaños es el 12 de mayo. Soy maestra de español y me gusta leer y viajar. ¿Y listo? Now, please introduce yourself in the comments using the information you learned today. Y nos vemos en la próxima clase. Hasta la próxima. Bye.